On the Hot House, Mum's the Word. Hi, I'm Cal's mum. We think you're number one and you're going to win it. We're all behind you. Hi, I'm Robin, Jules's mum. I'm the Hot House nanny. Go, Jules and Si. G'day, I'm Alex. I'm Brett's father. They're going to win the Hot House. Go, the boys. Hi, I'm Tina's mum, Marie. Go, Tina and Pete. And loyal fans flood the Hot House. Hello, welcome to the Hot House. I'm Erica. Today I have a very special delivery for our contestants and it's got nothing to do with building. I'm just on the other side of the Hot House compound where the contestants are busy cleaning the house. In the Explorer, I have four in-laws. For three of the parents, they'll have a few days to hang out with their kids, but for one in-law, their visit to the Hot House will be very short indeed. That's because today is Elimination Day. One couple is about to be laid off. That means one of these guys will be going as well. Not even enough time for a sleepover. Let's go. Contestants, come on out. Oh. Hi. Simon and Jules have yet to be nominated, so no packing for them. Instead, they're taking Jules' mum, Robin, on a hothouse tour, and there's some dream building going on. We'll show you the kids wing first. This is the that we This is the little girl's room. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> yeah. The optimistic part of us says we're staying. And the realistic part of us says we're probably going. <laughs> and this is what we're calling a study. But the thing about it is... Oh, this could be my room. Yeah, yeah it's a This is Annie. This is the Hot House Nanny's bedroom. Yeah. Where she comes to look after them. <laughs> Already packed, Pete and Tina open cards Marie's brought from their kids. To Mum and Dad, we miss you heaps and can't wait to see you again. <laughs> Come on, love. <laughs> Have a nice Easter. And look, they've got their little names on their little Easter eggs. What's a lot of coffee? Yeah. <laughs> the water. That's where I want to be with the champagne. <laughs> we have been conversational with Pete and Tina a little bit, so maybe that probably might be our downfall. He's up straight, you know, and tells us the way he sees it. And that's all there's to it. And you can't ask anybody to do any more than that. I learned that from my father. I think it's probably the most special time to be here, really, isn't it? With all the finishing touches. And even though we're nervous about going up, being nominated, you know, we sort of know in the game you've got to do it to win. You've actually got to go up and be nominated and survive. So I suppose in a way the pressure's not really on. It's OK for some. There's no doubting these parents love their kids, but it's votes from the public that will decide whose life is changed forever. Meet Andrea. After winning a Brisbane radio competition, she was granted exclusive access to tour the hothouse and have her say. The black wall, it's beautiful. Carpet's bloody awful. The fish tank rocks. It absolutely rocks. Like every fan, Andrea has her favourites and her not-so-favourites. 
I think Calvin and Heather's strengths are that they've put a lot into the house, they work very hard. A lot of their weaknesses are that they're very young still, they've got a long way to go. Brett and Jeff, I think Brett is just, sometimes he's just switching from one team to the other. He's nasty when he wants to be nasty and cruel. Uh, Simon and Jill are guaranteed to be in top two, I hope. Fingers crossed for them as well. I think that it's a family house and they can work on it and it will be beautiful, I'm sure. Peter and Tina deserve the house. It's a lot to take in getting nominated every day. I think they're feeling it and it would be hard to work with people who hated you. But it's only her opinion. As the couples and in-laws go inside for elimination... Pete and Tina. The big fella in. Outside, the public know who they want eliminated. Will Pete and Tina survive? That's next on The Hot House. Outside the hot house, it's opinion time. Inside, it's elimination time. Welcome to our contestants and their in-laws who are joining us in the hot house to give their kids some much needed moral support. Denise, pick a couple who you think should be eliminated today. Pete and Tina. Okay. Marie? Brett and Jeff. Alex, who, who should, should be eliminated today? The whole three. Ah, pick one. <laughs> the big fella in. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. Brett and Jeff have been saved twice. Can they make it three in a row? Last week, you took Pete and Tina's place and were saved by Australia. This week, the votes have gone your way again. Please take Alex and join the safe side of the room. Come and join us. This one's very I know. Maybe. Brett and Jeff have made it to the final three. Who won't be joining them? OK. The second envelope contains who Australia thinks doesn't deserve the hot house. Robin, why don't you come and tell us? <sighs> This week, Australia's decided that Calvin and Heather had been laid off. Sorry, that's oh, the results. <laughs> there are just three couples left. The Toy Boys, Brett and Jeff, the Nice Guys, Simon and Jules, and the ring-ins, Pete and Tina. That's a one in three chance of winning the hot house. Calvin and Heather, you've been laid off. We're going home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, deserve to be going home. That's lovely to have you back. As Calvin and Heather walk down their street for the last time, their fans are at the gate to farewell them. It's a bittersweet ending. I've got a lot of time for Tina. Tina's great she's girl. She's got a heart of gold and she works so hard for that guy. Mm. And he doesn't appreciate it. And he's just the most ungrateful, selfish, horrible man. I hate saying that about someone, but I have never, ever in my life met anyone quite as awful as he is. He's, he's, he's just not the type of person you'd give any time of day for. And he's just offended everyone all over again. So, and he's going to stand there and take it and pretend that he can take it and he's the big man, but really he just does that for show. And he's, he's, he's just, he's conning everyone. And they're realising that this person is, might turn out to be their neighbour and they're not happy about it. Dear Calvin and Heather, you guys are awesome and we voted 50 times for you to win the house. Out of all the people, you two seem the most genuine and we wish you all the luck. Thanks, guys. <laughs> all straight for that? We will. I'll keep it always. While Calvin and Heather show Denise what might have been, our remaining couples are already talking nomination. You, you sort of got to go and face the music some stage, and tonight will be the night as well. I mean, if you look at the trend, you know, everyone votes for Peter Tina, and Peter Tina split their votes, so there's no reason why that's, you know, 
not, not going to happen again, really. Simon and Jules are unknown quantity yet. Yeah? Mm. They've never been out, you know, so... Mm. And to be quite honest, I still think there's a hell of a lot of support for Pete and Tina. They've got us through again, man. We're each appreciative of that. That's right. And um, I just feel half of those people out, out there, too, are also yelling out, go home, Brett. At the end of the day, there's only going to be one winner. And hopefully, I'm sitting alongside them. Calvin, Heather and Denise board the signature boat, but their driver is running a bit late. Aussie John is here to save the day. Hi, Calvin and Heather. Aussie John here. Congratulations on making it so far in the hothouse. Reaching the final four was no mean feat. There's lots to be said for flying under the radar. Well done. I hope you've learned some good lessons and take some fantastic memories from your time in the hothouse. I know you're really keen to get into your own hothouse soon, so in addition to that plan B, you worked up with your Aussie mortgage advisor. I'm sending you a $10,000 cash kick. Start from Aussie to help you along. Give us a hug. Give us a hug. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Oh, my God. Well saved. Thanks, Oh, it's coming on Next, the couple's most important and final vote in the Aussie van. A second honeymoon has come early for our newlyweds. We're sending Calvin and Heather on a five-night luxury holiday to Ridges Reef Resort, Port Douglas. The resort boasts five lagoon pools and more than 400 rooms ranging from hotel through to two and three bedroom fully self-contained villas. Being tropical North Queensland, Port Douglas offers our couple easy access to the Great Barrier Reef and the World Heritage Daintree Rainforest. Team members, I want to give you a few tips just in case. We need a plan B. Team B. Well, with Aussie, what we basically can do is customise the loan to what you want it to be. We can filter through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of loans from all the major banks and it'll rate them cheapest to dearest. So we've got 17 choices that'll fit what you need to do. It's fantastic. Yeah. Imagine the time it'll take you to do that. It's amazing. Yeah, I wouldn't even know where to start. You know, it's a matter of a few minutes, done it all for me. Thank you so much. No worries, you're welcome. You too can get expert mortgage advice. Just call Aussie on 13 13 33. We'll save you. Numbers may be dwindling in the camp, but they're on the rise outside the fence line. As our couples arrive to vote in the Aussie John van for the final time, their fans have already cast their votes. They're ruthless. Man, look at these crosses. One, two, three. I know people get all four votes. Very shocked if he doesn't. Simon and Jules' popularity has never been tested as they've yet to be nominated. Is that about to change along with their voting strategy? I think they have to vote strategically because if you were in the same position, you have to sort of think about the end results or maybe, you know, get it all over and done with. Along with the arrival of Brett's dad, Alex, is the horde of Brett and Jeff fans. Gut feeling is, right, um, they are now proving to be a force to be reckoned with. Good luck. No. Yeah, I'll need it, man. <laughs> good luck. Which will be I get four this week. Do you know what? A good luck kiss from the in laws, and our contestants are off to announce their final votes face to face. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. See you all. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Okay. Down the street, a spectacular reminder of what they're playing for. We promised you construction, confrontation and elimination. I think we delivered. Fourteen couples have become three. This is the last time you will do face-to-face -face nominations. Let the final and most important nominations begin. Okay, Tina, please stand up. 
Who are you voting for and why? Um, this week it's just pretty simple. I don't think my brain can mentally take the confrontation and the stress that I've been going through anymore in the last, that I have in the last um, eight weeks. And just strategically, the reason why I'm voting for you, Brett, um, is just, you know, just a strategic move this week. You know, I'm just mentally drained and, you know, that's about it. OK, Pete, please stand up. Who are you voting for and why? Um, I'm voting for Jeff this week. <laughs> Basically, we haven't talked for about five weeks. I don't really want to go into that. It's being done to death. Um, second reason is that um, you haven't never been voted for. I don't think anyone should be able to get out of this game without being scared. So... Pete and Tina, why did you vote for the same couple this time? Um, well, it was a strategic move. Um, also, I believe that, uh, you know, I think it would be a, a good victory for us if we could take out Brett and Jeff. We've tried for three weeks and uh, we hope that we can do that. Pete, Simon and Jules voted for you last week. Do you think they won't do that this week? I'd actually, I would die of heart failure, Erica, if I, if I didn't get a vote this week. Heart um, failure? Yeah, I will. I think I will die of heart failure. Right on this map here. <laughs> because I'm expected to get every vote, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to stand there. Jeff, getting back to you. With two votes, that means you are automatically up for elimination. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do about it now. Mm -hmm. Stand up. Please deliver your vote. Well, um, first off, I just hope Pete um, is true to his words about him keeling over. I vote for Simon. Jeff's vote has taken Pete and Tina completely by surprise. And it's actually it's just strategy, to be honest. I think you guys are actually going to win. I really do, um, and that's why I voted for you. Okay. Tina is clearly freaking out. It's dawned on her she and Pete could be going straight through to the final two couples. Brett, your vote, please. Um, I think before you actually do die, I need to actually say something. <laughs> um, I'm voting for you, Simon. The reason being is that Jeff and I chose to vote this way because we knew that if we voted towards Pete and Tina, that we'd probably be up anyways because they'd send their votes this way. The only way that we could be safe was if we voted your way and they were going to split their vote. So we're voting only strategically. You know how we feel about you guys, and that's it. We, we feel more confident that we would face Pete and Tina in the last round than this round because I think Australia is now starting to change the way that they see the game. Um, so I'd rather let them have the week off, that's what it's going to be. Thanks. If Simon and Jules both don't vote for Pete and Tina, Pete and Tina will automatically go through to the finals. Simon, please stand up, deliver your vote. Um, Tina, I'm voting for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you guys voted for us because we did the same thing. We voted tactically and uh, we took a punt on how people were going to vote. And uh, so that's the only reason I'm voting for you, Tina. Okay. Jules, you have the deciding vote. Will you be sending Pete and Tina straight to the finals? Please stand up. Tell us who you're voting for. After the break, will Pete and Tina defy the odds and make the final? In 11 weeks, Pete and Tina have had 74 votes cast against them. They've been nominated seven times, been saved by you, the public, five times and scraped through on votes twice. While the couples are pretty used to this process, the in-laws are doing it tough outside in the vans. People get the majority of the votes. He has every other week, so why should this week be any different? I'm here as, as Brett's father and a friend, Jeff, to support both the boys. And I'll do that whatever and however I can. I'm feeling more nervous than I've felt right through that show because I'm sitting here. I've usually got whole heaps of family and friends there on Monday nights and uh, can't wait for them to come out and see what happens.
Jules, will you be sending Pete and Tina straight to the finals? Please stand up. If the next vote is not for Pete and Tina, they're safe. Um, we had to take a few guesses on how things might go tonight and it certainly turned out different to how we expected. <laughs> Jesse! I'm ready for you. I like getting on. <laughs> the last one. Pete and Tina, the 14th couple, the ring-ins, the most controversial contenders are straight through to the final of the Hot House. The odds against them were 14 to 1. They've beaten the odds. Now they have a 1 in 2 chance of becoming multi-millionaires. I don't want to die now in the finals. But the bad news is, you haven't won it yet, mate. No, I don't like Simon and Jules will now have to go head to head with Brett and Jeff. Their strategy backfired. Pete and Tina didn't split their votes. As the shock sets in, the couples must now go and tell their in laws the news. Boys. Are you on here? Yeah. We're going up. We need people to vote for us. We're going to go home them. and get some people. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jules and Simon were hoping that we would vote for Pete so that no one day would get the week off. So Pete got the week off. Pete and Tina have the week off. If you want to save Simon and Jules, SMS the number 6 to 188 1110. Or to save Brett and Chef, SMS the number 7. Alternatively, you can vote via our website, thehothouse.tv. From now on, you can also win yourself $40,000 worth of prizes in the Hot House Vote and Win giveaway. Simply tell us why you deserve to win the Hot House Pool and Spa, courtesy of Blue Haven, a five-night holiday at Novotel Twin Waters Resort, plus $10,000 cash from Aussie. We'll save you. That's more than $40,000 worth of prizes. Of course, if you don't want to enter the competition, simply cast your vote in the usual way via SMS or at the Hot House website. Tomorrow night on the Hot House, the in-laws are staying over, but where will they sleep? I'm glad you're sleeping the next line. Take him to Sweet dreams, darling. He's not up for elimination, but the public's still keeping a close eye on Pete. Come on, Pete, put a hat on and plant a tree! <laughs> and Brett's dad defends his gay son. The hot 